Your Royal Highness, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as a representative of Polish Ministry of Infrastructure, I would like to express my satisfaction with another investment in wind turbine industry in Poland. The investment together with installation port in Świnoujście are to be strategic elements in the implementation of Baltic Power's first offshore wind farm in Poland. The farm is expected to power more than one and a half million households with clean energy as early as 2026. The Ministry of Infrastructure has already granted 10 licenses for the construction of offshore wind farms. Some of them are to be located in the West Pomeranian Voivodeship. In addition, a Polish offshore competence center will be established in Szczecin to prepare personnel to handle offshore wind energy investment. This initiative is crucial for the further development of offshore wind sector in Poland, which requires many well-qualified specialists. Today is a very good day for Vestas. It's a very good day for Poland. It's a very good day for Europe. And it's a very good day for the friendship that has had a long history between Denmark and Poland. Today also marks a very special step on the Vestas journey to lead the development of a strong, sustainable offshore wind supply chain in Europe. Here in the buildings next to us, we are starting up a state-of-the-art nacelle assembly. We are also planning not so far down the coastal here to start the wind and turbine blade production. These two facilities are important. First of all, important steps to deliver the scale needed, asked for, and required on our project commitments here, but also to prepare for the growth of the European offshore sector. What has been the boss the last year? It has been totally AI, robots, drones, and so on. And some of the gloomers out there have even talked about a future where men will be replaced by machines. Well, I believe right here in Stitten, we have a prime example of what the future really looks like. Because in principle, nothing could be more automated by than a wind turbine. It's so simple, the wind blows, the blades rotate, we get power. Yes, I know, Henrik, that in reality it's not that simple. But still, with wind energy, there's no need for dig up coal, no need for, to drill for oil, and no need to rely on the infrastructure and resources of a country that has brought war to our continent. It is, in other words, a highly automated and autonomous technology with turbines that can turn and turn for decades, as Henry was just saying, for 30 years, actually in Poland, requiring just the right level of service and a minimum of people to operate it. And yet, here we are today, opening a new factory that will create 2,500 jobs. And as first of two new factories, it will be a very important hub for Europe's wind ambitions, for example, in the Baltic Sea. This, to me, represents the future of European industry. Jobs, growth, and a cleaner, more sustainable, and more secure Europe. What's not to like? In the coming years, many investments in the wind energy sector will be made in the Baltic Sea. Joint projects of Polenergia in a consortium with Norway's Equinor with a total capacity of three gigawatts are at an advanced stage. Oil and Neptune, a subsidiary of Polish concert Olnen, is planning to build a wind farm with a total capacity of 5.2 gigawatts. There are also some plants with Lithuanian partners. Our Baltic Sea partners are also betting heavily on the opportunities granted by the power of the wind. I believe that this factory will allow these plants to come to fruition. And by doing so, it will benefit both Vestas 
the local community as well as the whole region. Thank you.